Hey everybody, Jay Vondra here. I'm with you today to help you guys work on a, probably a beginner to an intermediate skill with the Jong Bung, okay? So we're gonna work on our four count today, which is a right punch, left punch, cross the weapon over, and then cross it under. Except we're gonna work on one little fundamental skill that you're gonna to need to make really good if you wanna be good with the Jong Bong, and that's called scoping your hands. And scoping your hands mean, means going from a, a, a speed grip into a power grip um, and making sure that you have your hands um, equal on the weapon and they slide smoothly, okay? So you're gonna to have to do the strikes with your hands sliding uh, in and out of the weapon just like that. So let me give you an example, all right? So you guys can get in your starting position just like this. Um, oh, one, let, me, let me give you guys a little grip tutorial too. So make sure you have the right hand. I'll go away from you guys so you can see. The right hand is gonna be palm up on the weapon like this, and the weapon, the left hand is gonna be palm down on the weapon like this, okay? And the way I like to explain it, is you'll put your hands on the weapon just like you would a baseball bat or a golf club, all right? So they go the same way, except the only difference is you slide your hands um, on the weapon just like this, okay? You don't, on a baseball you baseball bat, you probably not slide your hands all over it, obviously, unless you're bunting. But it's really the same, the scoping your hands, kind of the same, the same thing. And let me give you an idea. So you start with the weapon, um, just like this, I'll go a little bit off to the side, and you're going to scope your hands so you're punching straight out towards the target just like that, and your hand's going to be in this wide position, focusing on your hand getting to your hip, okay? So slide your hands back together for your left punch, and then slide them out for the right punch, okay? So slide them to the, for the left punch, and notice my hands are close together, and then when I do the right punch, I slide them out, okay? And if you're good at it, you should be able to do it as you're striking, okay? So slide them together, slide them out, okay? So you're gonna do your left punch, and then your right punch. Your left punch, and then your right punch. And notice the end of the weapon is hitting the target every single time. You know, I wanna do a left punch here, and then a right punch over here, or left punch and right punch. This is a, a, a really common mistake that I see beginners make um, in their cr uh, creative and extreme forms even some black belts on their traditional form. So slide your hands together, notice they here, I'll go from the side, and then slide them out apart like that. So slide them together, slide them apart. When, you, when they're apart, your weapon should be equal on all three um, parts, the end, the middle, and this end too. So you wanna uh, have the weapon in thirds. So strike, strike, okay? We call this a speed grip. So this grip is gonna be a lot faster um, you can do the strikes this way, except they're just not as powerful, okay? So we're going to do the, let's move on to the four count that we talked about earlier. So you're going to do the strike with your right hand, back to the beginning with your left hand, and all you're going to do is you're going to take your hand in the front, and I'll show you from the side, you're going to cross it over your armpit, excuse me, under to your armpit, just like that. Let me do that part again. So from, the, from this part, you're going to take this hand, and all you're going to do is cross it, cross your arms over so that it's under your right armpit, and then back, okay? And then you can begin the four count all again. So you're gonna do your right punch, your left punch, cross your arms like this, and then uncross them, okay? So right punch, you're gonna left punch, cross your arms, and then uncross your arms. And then you can do that, making sure when you do that, you have the weapon on the target just like this. Right punch, left punch, cross your arms, uncross. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cool. You guys got it? You got to keep practicing, scoping those hands for your four count. This is a really fundamental skill that even the elite uh, martial artists use in their form. So practice this until you can't get it wrong. I'll see you guys in the next video.